Number eight on our list is linoleic acid. I know everybody keep on saying acid, acid, acid. No, it is an extract. Why most of you might have not heard about lino linoleic lino hey, 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 I don't understand what is going on. It is your favorite person at it again with another banger. It's not easy to be here, guys. It is a new month, and Blue Lost Life and our family is still alive, and my fans out there are still alive. Like, guys, what more can I say? Anyway, I am back again with another banger, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite skincare lightening ingredients that you can use in formulating your own skincare products, okay? You know the next thing I want to see. Five was it, just do it. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you're already here. So you might as well just go hit that subscribe button. You know, okay, okay, thank you very much. Now into the video for today. So by the time of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite top 10 skin lightening products, and I'm gonna tell you why they made it to Blue's verified list. Stop it! Ooh, that is a whole lot of energy. Skincare Lightning has a bad record because of one ingredient that made it, you know, if you now mention skin lightning to some people, some people will be like, ah, uh, you're bleaching your skin off. Mm. It is not it's good not though. Mm. What are you doing? God created the black. Why are you doing this? It will damage your skin. The only reason why Skincare Lightning got a bad record is because of one ingredient. Hydroquinone. Hydroquinone got us a bad record for skin lightning. Now I'm here to tell you that you can lighten your skin in a very safe way using safe ingredients in your skincare products formulation okay but here I'm gonna be listing out my favorite skincare lightning ingredients that are natural what did I say okay now number one on our list is kojic acid now kojic acid is a I know a lot of people be like okay what is kojic acid this acid is there well, I run away. don't use kojic acid as before your skin no sis kojic acid was made as a byproduct from malted rice malted rice was used in making steak and rice rice wine. A whole lot of Chinese people know what sake and rice wine is. Nigerian people, we eat eba, amala. We don't know those ones. Okay, let's see then. Anyway, now, why is kojic acid on my list? Kojic acid is a natural lightening and brightening skincare active, okay? It is also added into skincare products to make your products lighten and brighten your skin. In a what? Can I hear somebody say safe way? Okay, don't be scared because acid is written beside it. It's an extract gotten from malted rice. Kojic acid works to lighten, brighten your skin, making an enzyme necessary for melanin production unavailable. Okay, this will only inhibit melanin production. It will not remove melanin. Do you get what I'm saying? It will only inhibit the production at which melanin is produced, but then it would not remove that melanin that is there. You know melanin is what causes our skin to get darkened so it will only inhibit it but then it will not remove it if you don't know what melanin production is that is the pigment which colors your skin now moving on to number two on our list vitamin c vitamin c is very popular okay when you add vitamin c into your skincare product or into your skincare formulation you are adding a very good antioxidant ingredient into your production okay you get what i'm saying i'm gonna tell you why vitamin c is much loved by every skincare formulators now it is a multitasking ingredient okay i'm going to list out what vitamin c will do when it's in your skincare formulation it acts as an antioxidant it acts as a collagen builder it also acts as an anti-aging active okay then it also acts as a skin lightener and then as a skin brightener it helps to shield the skin against pollution you see why it is an antioxidant it shields the skin from things that can actually harm the skin okay that is why vitamin c is necessary in skincare production and it helps in your formulated product and it takes that skincare product to another level number three on our list alpha arbutin now i know a lot of people knows about alpha arbutin alpha arbutin is also a natural skin lightening active okay now get it inside natural skin lightening active now alpha arbutin was made by mother nature found in the leaves of the beer berry plant okay i know a lot of you don't know where arbutin just came from everybody just heard it and it sounds like english nobody know where the thing came from anyway i'm now telling you where it came from if you're using alpha arbutin in your skincare products you are to use in your skincare products you are to use at least one to two percent concentration 
penetration of alpha R protein. This can rival even the most effective skin brightness. It can fight with another skin brightness, okay? Because it tops the, the list, okay? And then it is also similar to Koji acid, okay? Which means the same thing that Koji acid will do on your skin, the same thing alpha R protein will also do to your skin. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you how alpha R protein works. Alpha R protein works by inhibiting skin tyrosinase enzyme. That is why it's made it to my list. Number four, which is my favorite and my best lightning ingredient is Nian Cinnamide. I know a lot of you always hear me talk about Nian Cinnamide. The last video I just posted on YouTube, a lot of people reached out to me about Nian Cinnamide. Nian Cinnamide entered the world of skincare. You can't even go anywhere without hearing about Nian Cinnamide and the wondrous activity that this ingredient actually does to the skin. Now, Nian Cinnamide can also be known as pro-vitamin B3 or B12, okay? Nian Cinnamide is also an antioxidant and a sebum oil balancer. It is also an acne fighter, an anti-inflammatory, okay? A ceramide booster and a very effective skin lightening active. When you want to make this work perfectly, you can pair it with N-acetyl glucosamine, okay? When you add this into the formulation of your face cream, it takes that face cream to another level, okay? If you dig what I'm saying, it helps to fight acne, helps with anti-inflammatory that always happens mostly on the face. It also is a very good ceramide booster. Now, this is an amazing skincare lightening agent. If you're adding it into your face, Cream. Sis, you can come back here and thank me later. I'm sure of that. Number five on the list is glutathione. Everybody knows glutathione. Glutathione is produced by our bodies, but as we grow older, we start to, you know, produce less glutathione. Now, glutathione is a potent antioxidant, guys, that can be taken also as a food supplement, guys, which is one of the videos I did where I was talking about how to add glutathione into your food supplements, your vitamin supplements as well. Now, glutathione in skincare has similar activity it is with kojic acid and can be paired together okay because they both do pretty much the same thing and then glutathione is also safe for skincare and safe on your skin not so much is known about how glutathione can actually lighten your skin faster okay now glutathione takes its time to lighten your skin which is the reason why you might get glutathione so fast start complaining and thinking that it's not working but then it is working only it doesn't work as fast as you want it to work okay but then when you accompany glutathione with another skincare lightening agent like kojic acid and the rest of them all it boosts the effectiveness of glutathione or you pair with vitamin c boosts the effect of glutathione we're gonna go to the number six on our list which is the azelaic acid i know a lot of you will hear acid and say okay let me run let me pick this don't run don't pick this okay azelaic acid is also the same ph level of your skin okay in ph level of your skin azelaic acid your skin same pH level. It also helps in calming rosacea, which is a chronic redness accompanied by irritation and scaling. That is what azelaic acid helps to do. And also, it is also slightly acidic, like 5.5 pH. Okay, that's how slightly acidic it is. However, azelaic acid is also an effective skin lightening ingredient. Okay, if you use azelaic acid, it will only help to even your skin tone. That is what azelaic acid does. Imagine you formulating your body lotion and adding azelaic acid into it. It helps to even out your skin tone while it is lightening. The major thing I like about azelaic acid is that it helps to give you a clear complexion, okay? If you have clients that are complaining, oh, my skin is not clear. I need something that will clear my skin. When you are formulating products for those kind of clients, put your azelaic acid. It will help in clearing your face. It helps in giving a very even tone and also clear complexion okay now moving over to number seven on the list it is our glycolic acid guys glycolic acid as most people know it is a leave on exfoliant guys that's why most times when you're going for your skincare training a lot of people like to add glycolic acid into their formulation of their skincare scrub okay now that is because glycolic acid on its own is a leave on exfoliant it is very good at exfoliating your skin evenly now what you guys don't understand is that if you don't exfoliate your skin evenly it is equals to uneven skin tone okay i know a lot of people don't know about this now i'm telling you if you don't exfoliate your skin in an even manner your skin is as good as not going to have an even skin tone so uneven 
exfoliation equals to uneven skin tone. Glycolic acid is a powerful ingredient that can also help in evening out your skin tone as well as evening out the exfoliation process of your skin. Now, a whole lot of people know this as a leave-on exfoliant, but most people do not know that glycolic acid also helps in lightening the skin. As most of the lightening ingredients that I've listed, those helps in inhibiting melanin production but when it comes to glycolic acid it removes the melanin pigment faster okay that is one thing one good thing about glycolic acid when you pair your glycolic acid with your kojic acid you're going to get an amazing formulation now moving on number eight on our list number eight on our list is linoleic acid i know everybody keep on saying acid 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 no it is an extract why most of you might have not heard about lino linolelic hey, hey i don't understand what is going on with tom green today why most of you might have not heard about linoleic acid is because it is all about natural plant oils okay and then there are lots of natural plant oils that contains linoleic acid and most of us always use these oils in our products in our skincare formulations some people add their grape seed oil some people add their primrose oil or the rose hip oil now all these oils contains natural linoleic acid okay that is why we don't really talk about it so much because these oils we are adding into our, our formulation contains this linoleic acid linoleic acid can help in speeding up your skin cells turnover in the same way as glycolic acid would do it's just like the same thing you understand the same thing that linoleic acid would do is the same thing like folic acid would do when it comes to the speeding of you the speeding up of your skin cell turnover of your skin linoleic acid suppresses the production of melanin it suppresses the production of melanin okay this will only suppress it but it will not remove it as glycolic acid will do do you think what i'm saying now that is the reason why this made it to my list and linoleic acid is also a noteworthy brightening and lightening ingredient it has noteworthy lightening and brightening abilities okay that is why it made it to the list moving on to number nine on our list which is the second to the last okay last one is with the first now number nine on our list is paper mulberry a whole lot of us have had about mulberry extracts in our black soap production in our black soap formulation in our face cream in our body lotions a lot of people here when you come on youtube you hear a lot of people adding mulberry extract into it now i'm going to tell you why this made it to my own blue verified list mulberry extract is an up and coming skin lightening active okay a lot of people don't know about mulberry extracts but here blue is here to tell you what it is you know what i'm saying Anyway, now this source, mulberry extracts may even have better efficacy than the very own hydroquinone. Now that is the strength at which this, this ingredient lightens the skin. It is much more stronger than hydroquinone, but then it is safer than hydroquinone. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, this is strong on its own, but then this is natural and safer to use other than using hydroquinone. Do you think what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Mulberry extracts can help to protect your skin against damaging free radicals. That is pollution against age spots, okay? When you're suffering from age spots and you add in your mulberry extracts, it helps to prevent it from even happening and then also take care of that. Moving on to the last on the list, but not the last on the list, okay? But this is made it up to blue verified list. It is the liquorized extract extracts guys i know a lot of you are very familiar with liquorice powder liquorice extracts i know a lot of you are familiar with that but then i'm telling you why it made it to my list liquorice contains many ingredients that has a lot of skin lightening or brightening benefits okay now some of this work traditionally by inhibiting tyrosinase activity happening on your skin okay liquorice extract is an attractive and a very 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 effective skin lightening ingredients okay and it can be used for lightening and also used for brightening your skin now these are blue verified favorite top 10 list of skincare natural lightening ingredients that you can use in formulating your skincare products and now we have arrived at the end of this video if you really enjoyed it please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up okay and then don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and you have arrived at the end of this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in another awesome uploads, guys. See you guys. Bye.